as I was coming down Fruitville Pike this evening to come here, I thought, you know what? They're going to be short of speakers tonight. It's the first time. Is there anything I can possibly come up with in the 15-minute ride down? And uh, well, I, I'm optimistic that it'll work. <laughs> I was never a really great skier. I was sort of okay. <laughs> Beth is laughing, she knows. Uh, but we were in Taos, and I went on a little moguls that I probably shouldn't have gone on. And I ended up on a stretcher. And they took me down, and they had to put my shoulder in. It took three doctors and a couple Jack Daniels to be able to <laughs> replace that dislocated shoulder. but. I survived that. And so I was optimistic and I was going to go back skiing again. But I was also smart. And I said, never again am I going to go on a mogul. So I was in the cruising down, take it easy, don't do anything stupid, and till I ran into a, what was it, a fence bath? <laughs> yeah. I sort of did a tumble over a fence, and in skiing parlance, they call it a, a garage sale or a yard sale. There were skis, there were poles everywhere. <laughs> Beth, being the adoring daughter and a doctor, looked at me, and she started to laugh. She said, it's the closest she's ever come to peeing in her pants. <laughs> and she still tells that story. So that was OK. Uh, a couple of years ago, I decided, well, I just had my 80th birthday about two weeks ago, so. <laughs> you know, I decided my body wasn't up to all this skiing and stuff, and I actually took my skis, got my chop saw, and I chopped up my skis and threw them into the garbage. <laughs> well, Beth and David and Jack, who's also back there, said, you know, we're going skiing, when was it, January or February, in uh, Whistler. You want to come along? Sure, I'll come along. I didn't have any skis, but I still had my boots, boots left. <laughs> so we went skiing. And we got to Whistler. And again, I'm optimistic. They're going to have beautiful groomed paths. I'll just scoot down. You know, this 80-year-old body isn't going to get hurt. So we get out there the first day. It's raining. And if you've ever skied, and there's a lot of snow, when you're skiing, you're skiing in mashed potatoes. And this, this skier does know how to ski in mashed potatoes. But I was optimistic I was going to get to the bottom and survive. But then the fog came. <laughs> so now I'm skiing in mashed potatoes in the fog. Can't <laughs> see what's in front of me. And guess what? When it's like that, they don't level out the uh, snow at all. So all of a sudden, I'm in moguls. And we got to something, I forget what it was called, Aunt Mames or Auntie, Ames, Auntie Anne's or something. I thought, this is, this is OK. It's safe. I'm optimistic. We start down that thing. The moguls are as high as these benches here. It's foggy. The snow, rain. Uh, I fell about eight times. I got back to the condo, and I said, I'll never ski again. Uh, well, another day later, the sun came out. <laughs> I uh, got my skis back on. <laughs> now, by this time, these boots, they were so old that all the lining was out of them, and I couldn't get my foot into the, the ski boots because the, the lining had come out and there was just glue there. So if, if you've ever had kids and you're skiing, it's a pain in the butt. Because they can never get their clothes on, they can never get their boots on. It took me half an hour to get this boot on. We ended up having to put saran wrap around my socks so I could get it into this glued out boots. Uh, but that day, I skied from the top of Whistler to the bottom of Whistler, didn't fall once, everything was groomed. Uh, I took the boots, they're in a garbage can in Whistler, and I'm done skiing. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>